Hey everyone, today I will be showing you how to install bed lights on a 2017 Toyota Tacoma. We will be installing these today for the first time. I've never done this before, so I'm hopeful I can find some pitfalls to warn you guys about. I have all the essentials laid out before me and I will provide a link down below for the printout of the instructions that I used. Okay, to start out, I've cut out these templates and this one is labeled driver's side. And according to the instructions, I line it up with this edge and with this edge flush. And then tape this down. And that will give me the pilot holes for where everything needs to go. <clears throat> Is that gonna work out? Does it look good? Does it look? Hmm? Just a closer look of how it lines up for me. And on this side. Hey, Ferk. Watch out. Yeah, right in the way. All right, next we are going to drill the holes for our light mounts. So this top mount and the bottom one are both 7 64th inch holes and the middle one is 7 16th. So Here is what we are left with as far as holes go. So now we find the light that is labeled with the driver's side indication. And we are just going to feed this through. Now using a screwdriver, I don't want to do this with a drill because I would hate to drill all the way through and strip this out. All right, with them mounted, this is what it looks like. We're ready to do the wiring. All right, I've got the cable brought up from underneath. So it's now through. And I'm going to show you how to put the heads on these so you can plug them in and this will be nice and waterproof. Okay, so I had to undo this and do it again. So make sure you read the instructions clearly so you know that when you're looking at it this way and the cables are coming down from this direction and the clip is on top facing you, the red goes on the left hand side. So this little clip right here. By the way, if you ever have to undo these, this clip goes in the middle, so like this. And if you ever need to take this off again, because you screwed up the placement, you can put in a bobby uh, hairpin, and you push it in, and it pushes that little tab down, and then you're able to back it back out of there. So we put it in like that. And once again, coming again the top down, the clip facing you, red is on the left, black is on the right. All right, and next we're gonna remove this little kick panel down here. This is really simple, it's just a hand threaded on um, little cap so you can uh, just loosen that. Just apply even pressure and consistently down this and you don't want to go too buck wild with this obviously. Here's what the bottom of that looks like so you guys know what you're dealing with. Now with that out of the way, we can pull this out.
Okay, now we're gonna remove this kick panel, just like the front, and just lift up on it. All right, so I wasn't able to record most of what I had to do. Um, it was definitely a two-handed job. But to give you a demo, basically, that grommet is approximately right here in the carpet. I can actually feel it here now. Um, the cable that I ran comes out right here and runs back underneath here. I had to pull this panel. I had to pull the clips on the bottom. They're uh, body panel clips, which I wasn't ready for. I thought I'd be able to leave this in according to the instructions, but there was no way that was going to happen. Um, so I removed this from the bottom and slid it out like this and then I'll show you over here and here is the cable as it comes up and that's where we're gonna vampire clip in this is most definitely in the way and it would be best if you're gonna do this installation you probably want to have some body clips on panel so you, or some panel clips on hand so you can pull this straight out I didn't want to break any of those clips and so I was very cautious and only did the, undid the bottom ones and fed it through that way. And then to show you, this is what that panel looks like underneath. I'm gonna get some sealant on that um, and uh, get this all ran. As you can tell from right here, you are gonna have a mess of freaking cable left over. I don't know if they also install this kit in school buses or something, but this is an insane amount of cable. All right, so I got the cables pulled through. They're now meeting. This is all the slack that I have. This is still coming down from the top down there. I'll cut to that here in a sec. And I mean, it's just, I, I can't understand why they put this much slack in it. So I'm gonna cut these and splice them back together to make it a little bit more professional. All right, so here's the cable coming from the front of the truck right here. And there is where these reach to. I did coil up one of them because the one on the driver's side has a lot more slack because it is closer than the one on the passenger side. And rather than them making one shorter than the other, they made them both the exact same length. So now we have a coil there and then they expected me to coil all of this up in right here and just make a big mess. So I'm pretty disappointed with that. I don't know if that's because they made this kit to fit like a hundred different vehicles and i mean so they made it super super long or what but i mean for the amount of money i paid for this i'm pretty disappointed in that so this is what i'm left with after i trimmed the end and soldered it this is just going to plug into those ends right there and then i'll be able to coil that up in a reasonable sized bundle and let's go from there Alrighty, this is what I am left with as far as coils go underneath. Again, I can't even imagine what this would have been like with that extra six foot of cord they included. But, um, this is what we're left with. And I'll come back and trim all those zip ties. Alright, to show you what I got here, I used their supplied vampire clip to go into number 14, which is on the this row right here, if you can follow the green wire there it goes up into the middle exactly the middle of that row it's a light green wire and that's number 14 and it directions have some more diagrams to show you about which one that is so you can make sure you're not tapping into the wrong one I absolutely hate hate vampire clips but uh that's what they supplied I'll give it a shot I have a feeling I'll end up back in here and solder this um, just because I I always seem to have run into problems with vampire clips. The other thing it says to do is to vampire clip again into one of these ground wires. Um, I haven't figured out which one yet, but I will find out which, which one the supplied vampire clip goes to. This is the clip they send. And I'll check back in with you after I do that. Okay, so here's a quick peek at how I got this set up. Again, I ditched their vampire clip for the um, ground wire, and instead I had a uh, like an O-ring crimp-on adapter that I put those that it ground to, so that and then put it on the bolt right there that holds holds that grounding harness there, so that should give it good ground. 
And then we have the vampire clip going into that terminal right there. All right, Fergus and I have just finished up. He did most of the heavy lifting. Here's a quick demo. See, it comes on with the bed light. And because it comes on with the bed light, I can turn it on with the switch on inside the cab. If I lock it again. Oh, it turned off before then. So here's a little demo of them at night and it should turn off here in a second or two but it, I'm pretty pleased with the lighting situation. See, that's what it looks like with it off. This is what it looks like with it on.